Hi again, everyone. Brian Rhodes here. Hey, I hope all is right with all of you out there again today. Hey, uh, look, uh, again, a little bit on screenplay. I mentioned that we gave a couple of examples to our screenwriter, Nario, our Polish screenwriter, Nario, to get an idea or to give him an idea of maybe what we're looking for out of the screenplay. Um, I think my last blog, I gave you insight as to why we're spending so much time on the screenplay. But you know, it's really interesting uh, when you think about it, but you know, you have to use the tools that you have at the time. Uh, you can't wishful think yourself uh, into a movie. Uh, and as I mentioned in my earlier blog, you know, taking time on the screenplay is a, is a spot where you can spend a lot of time and get a big return from, from it when in fact uh, the film uh, is being shot. So, you know something, I don't mind spending that time right now. We're in no hurry. Uh, let's spend the time and get the screenplay right. You know, I also uh, wanted to say that we gave Nero, uh, I think, four examples of, of screen uh, screenplays and films that resulted from those screenplays. Uh, I sent him the links uh, and uh, gave him the titles and all the people behind them. Uh, having said that, one of them was Midnight Cowboy. Now, there's a great example of something here. Uh, Midnight Cowboy. Well, uh, let me put it this way. Um, it was a film that probably should have never been made based on what you see in terms of what was happening and how things were coming together. Nobody really wanted to do it. Gore Vidal was asked to write the screenplay from a book and he says, ah, it would never uh, end up being a successful movie. He didn't want to do it and tried to sell him on what he was doing. Uh, then I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the 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 uh, uh, DOP uh, director of photography in this case didn't speak English and was learning English as he was shooting. Uh, the um, the director John Schlesinger uh, he really had no cred in North America. He had done I think two European films, but he really had no credibility in North America. And then it came to the writer. Well. The writer that they selected was on the blacklist. He was a writer that belonged to the Communist Party uh, and therefore was canned from his previous job and went about 10 years without doing anything. As it turns out, the producer in this case, I think his last name was Hellman, uh, the producer in this case was the one who had fired him from his previous job. Anyway, one of, you know, I think it was Schlesinger said, you got to read the first 30 pages of this screenplay. Uh, and when he did, he knew from 30 pages of the screenplay that it was going to be a winner. That was his take on it. Everybody else, pfft, the studio that they finally got involved, thanks to, I think it was Hellman, uh, wow. Wow. They didn't believe it. They were ticked off from beginning. They were ticked off. They had committed the money. They went over budget on it. I don't know how much they went over budget. They were using actors that had really never been known. I think John Voight had a little bit of cred on stage, uh, but both John Voight and Dustin Hoffman really had nothing in film. Uh, and yet they went at it as a group of misfits with what was then not a big budget. It was a good size budget, but not a big budget. I think it was three million, three point five million dollars. Uh, but again, the studio thought it was money wasted. It wasn't going to happen. Then out of the blue, it gets nominated for best film. Well, okay, great. And John Voight, I think, got nominated for best actor. Uh, interesting. Uh, but nobody thought for one minute that it would ever be selected. In fact, it was the joke of the Oscars until it won. And one of the reasons that I believe it won was you had a script that was so different, that was approached so differently. I mean, keep in mind, the year before, Oliver, the musical, one best film. This was something very new. There was a new something happening in film. There were films coming out at this time, like The Wild Bunch and so on, all in the same, at the same time, you know, and they were different. There was something different about them. There was a realism about them. That's kind of this 
documentary, but not documentary. Documentary-like, but not documentary. That's what I'm trying to get at here with the style of film. Uh, and it was around to stay for a while. Apocalypse Now came along, look at it, something similar, as I just mentioned. But having said that, you know, when you get right down to it, uh, you've got to have a great screenplay. Very few great movies are made without great screenplays. And it just so happens in this case, obviously, a guy that lost his wife, lost, I think went bankrupt, uh, became an alcoholic and whatnot because of his accusations of communism, etc., was one hell of a talent uh, and came up with a script that ended up knocking Hollywood on its ass. So that's what we're trying to do. So, you know, if Nario's listening to this, I say, hey, Nario, <laughs> you've got a challenge out there. We're only as good as you are. So, you know, put that thinking cap on and give us your best, my friend, all right? So that's all I want to say on this particular blog. We'll hit you again uh, very soon. You take care. Bye-bye now.